Okay, now we have to put no, uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Let's see camera. What does that mean? The camera. Anybody here? No. <laughs> oh no. All right. Choose. Okay. Oh, there's my arm. Okay. <laughs> I see it. Let me see it. In. All right. Where's my hand? All right. So this has to rotate this way. I didn't realize that this can rotate until right now. <laughs> Last time I had to flip over the camera. That's cute. <laughs> All right, this camera is a little bit rinky dinky. I don't know. I should have recommended this one. All right, do you have your, you filled your canvas, right? Yes. There you go. Um, well, I don't know if we want to give it a minute or two, but it's sure. five after. As much time as you feel you need. Uh, well, I should probably get you the paints, but <laughs> that's a good idea. Oh, then there's that. You want me to bring my little tray up to you? Uh, actually, yeah, if you want to do that, that would be great. Um, are we all right? Are we all started? Oh, uh, it's recording, but we haven't like started yet. Okay. We are doing the fruits, right? So go ahead and get, you're going to need a yellow. You're going to need that green, the other green, the red, and orange in here, orange, and oh, I've got a nice big purple. Let's see. Uh, or there's also regular purple. Fine. And a little bit of this dark brown. Purple. Okay. And then, oh, it should be a little bit white too. White, you just need a tiny bit. Actually, you can do the white. Yeah, you can do the white. And if you want to use another tray too, that's fine. There's give them more. Hello. Can we still for me? Oh, of course. Okay, there's two coming. So I yeah. just want to make sure we can give you a That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Okay, why is this funky now? Should I put it this way? That being so weird. Let's see that. Okay, this is upside down. Oh, there we go. This is the right way. Okay, I need what other color? Uh, okay, you're gonna need a little bit of white and a little bit of that dark brown. No red? And red, oh. yes, sorry. Both of these reds are the same? Um, no, that one is like a pink color. So you really don't need this one. Or okay. this one. Oh, so basically just the- That one, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I wanna make sure this is lined up here. Let me see if I can make this larger. Okay. Could zoom out. Oh, I remember I had it up on something huh, last night. Like the little stand for it. And I, <laughs> whoever's going to be watching this later, I feel bad. It's just like a lot of talking. Can you begin? That works. Oh, sorry. Come on in. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I didn't realize that was like really lost. Okay. <laughs> so, so you can go ahead and get the paints and all the colors you need are over here. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Do you want to sit down there? Yeah. Oh, right here is good. Because. <laughs> 
Yeah, and then there's also um, brushes right there. Okay. And then um, you really don't need a big one, just a medium or a small one. Okay. And then the colors are up here, and then you also need water. Okay. So you can get that all set up. We'll wait, don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, it's like reverse. Yeah. There's a little tile there. So all the colors, we need all the colors. Yeah. That are in that little yeah. Yeah. group there. And okay, okay. there's there should be multiple trays in there. Um, yeah, we do. We have some, so we can all we can borrow. Yeah, and we can and share. You, share. Yeah. you don't even share the brown, so you really don't need that much brown. Okay. So you can even share the brown. Um, and maybe the white. Oh yeah, we can actually anything else. Yeah, to start putting some in each one of oh, the little okay. things, and we we'll just share the colors. Okay. And yeah, and you guys can get more if you yeah yeah We're running out. Find a good brush for me. We'll just make all of, we'll just do all of the colors and the different trays along the sheet. Okay. 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 Have the brush here, so you should start with a medium. Yeah, a medium size is okay. You really don't need anything too, too big or too, too tiny. So, good guy. You can throw some more up here if you want. There's a bag of them. Feel free to pick out a couple. There's a couple of you. Yeah. Big one in here you don't need. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Guys, drop some water. Yeah, I got the water. Okay. Um, just a note on this image. Um, these apples are starting to look a little orange. So, uh, I don't know if you can see it. They're they're red. So we are going to use the red for that. So just uh keep that in mind. Okay. Um, so for this summer bowl, um, we're going to be starting off with the shapes of the fruit that are in the front. So normally when I start, like the landscape, you guys started kind of with the back coming forward. So in this one, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to start with these larger shapes right here of the lemon and the pear. And so you can kind of think of like, like pretend you're holding like an Oreo cookie or, you know, chocolate chip cookie or something. That's kind of about the size that we're going to start making these uh, these two shapes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, oh, you know, I should probably get some paint too. <laughs> I'm sitting there watching you guys. I can go paint. All right. So go ahead. We're going to start with the um, green, the light green, and the yellow to make these shapes. Oh, I know. I used to peel those for people, like for a <laughs> class that I had, and then I was like, "What? Yeah, Everybody could just do it." So I'll do it Yeah, we're going to use a 
a couple more trays up here if you need. Yeah, that's more hyper towel. I'm gonna tell my wet some brush. Oh, yeah. Um, all right. So with your medium sized brush, medium size, I kind of usually think of like the size of like a finger. Um, larger brush would be like a thumb size, right? So medium brush, we're gonna go ahead and get into our lighter green. And we're going to start off by just making one of these pear shapes, not right in the middle, but just over a little bit. And think about making it pretty much like, say you're right in the middle of the canvas, just kind of move it over. So if this was a center line, I'm going to make this kind of round. Put the size about in the middle, though. Not right in the middle, because we're going to put the pear and then the lemon. So, but in, I mean, up and down wise, like, is it oh, down uh, more than it is up? Hang on a second, somebody came in. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, it's a little hard to see on my canvas. And also, when I move this way, the screen is moving that way. So, right. if this is halfway, yeah. right? We're going to be putting it on this side. Oh, wow, that's reverse for you guys. Oh my gosh, that's confusing. Let me see if I can flip it. Hold on. Okay, is that right? Then now it's upside down. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to rotate it. I mean, you guys will just follow along, but it'll be the opposite of what I'm doing up here. So weird. But it's going on our right side. Yes. Yeah, so, and again, on mine, it's on my right, but right. on the screen, it's on the left. So, exactly. so we're putting it on the right side. Yes. Yeah, so, we're if this is about right. halfway and this is about halfway. Okay. So, it's, it's a little below halfway. Oh. Yeah. It could be a little below halfway. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, if you I don't get the right. placement perfect, it's okay. Right Your fruit is going to be a little bit in a different space. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we have anybody uh, that is added online? Let's see. Um, I don't know if anybody would have admitted. Okay, finish this. On a circle. They said about the size of an Oreo cookie. Yeah, or maybe a little bigger. Okay. If you guys want to see it online, like this. Okay. So on yours it would be sorry, the other way. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be confusing. Next time I think I'm gonna bring my camera that I have at home, so it'll be a little easier to to move around. Is it what's bigger than? No, gotta yeah, make bigger. Okay. Oh, bigger. Yeah, than? bigger than an Oreo cookie. Okay. There we go. Maybe if you think about it, like at least. Three fingers. Yeah. Oh, that's big. Yeah. Like at least three fingers, maybe four fingers even. I, I think oh, that's fine. Good. Just so I don't want to make it too tiny. So definitely make yours bigger. I can see it's too small. More up or more down? Hold the, this one up? No, hold the um real the, 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 yeah, painting, the painting, painting that you did up. I oh. probably just like, but the thing is, it's going to throw you off because it's this is going to be bigger than it actually seems on here. Right. But that's I fine. Just, yeah, that's yeah fine. I just was getting it in relationship to the bowl and everything. So just okay. seeing because that's going to be part of your thing. Yeah. It's still bigger. Yeah, a little bit bigger. Okay. Yeah. And it's easier with a little larger brush, too. And then so your pair, you know, you want to think about giving it like that top part of the pair. So I'm just gonna um, kind of slowly start adding like a little bump. So I'm like, okay, that's obviously too small. So, you know, think about a pear, like it has like a little ridge on it. It's kind of coming in like that. Maybe it can be a little longer. So just slowly kind of build it up so you get the right shape. Maybe something like that. I 
the hunt up here. So if you're thinking about a pear that you would eat, it should be about that size. You could probably go bigger with that. And you don't want to start off too small because then you think about the shapes of and the sizes of the other fruit, and usually we tend to make them the same, like, you know, accurate to their size. So if you start with the pear too small, everything else is going to be too small, and you're going to end up with a lot of, like, background space. So I'm maybe going to make this a little bigger just to be sure. It was bigger. Yeah. Like it sounded like real tiny. <laughs> so while you guys are doing that, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, next time, uh, we'll be doing something like this, like flowers in a vase. A little hard to see. Um, with, of course, you can change the colors and you know make the adjustments. Oh, and then the next one was oh. Um, that one's going to be under, under, tomorrow. Oh, uh, oh, the flowers is tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. But that, they had to move the schedule. This oh. one was supposed to be last week. Um, and then the one, uh, the under the sea one is something like this. And then, of course, I'll show you guys different kinds of fish. You don't have to do the pond fish. Um, but, you know, something like an underwater sea. That's going to be the one after the week out. Okay. 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 Just so you guys know. All right, so once you're done with your pear shape, go ahead and make your lemon. So, you know, probably want to clean off the brush. And the lemon is going to go right next to it, but we just want it to kind of overlap a little. So imagine like you're making a circle or an oval in this case with a lemon. And really be careful to clean the brush because you really don't want like a green, a green lemon, even though they might have hints of green, but want to just make it yellow for now. So it's going to be kind of right next to it, but it's, the pear is going to overlap. And my green is still wet, so I'm not going to go all the way right next to it right now. I'm going to wait until that dries more. So we want the lemon and the pear to kind of be the same size on their like belly. And the lemon has like a little bridge or something like this. Maybe I'll even show that ridge on the bottom part too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't make your yellow go into your green yet because it's just a little bit. I'll even go a little bigger on that lemon. And it was Lisa and Lisa, right? Uh, or Libby was here the last time. Libby, Libby, that this is my Aunt Glenna today. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, Libby was here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Lisa, Lisa, and it was Libby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good. So again, on the lemon, make sure you give it like a little bump on the top of it here just so it really kind of looks like a lemon and we're going to add more to these but right now we're just trying to get the basic shapes of all the fruit and that'll give it a chance to dry too in the middle okay so at this point check your size over here okay if you have if you can fit like your four fingers on each side here okay you guys can see that's pretty good. 
Although, if you're way uh -oh. off, you know, <laughs> yeah. try to make them bigger. Okay. Oh, okay. Because uh, the sides of the bowl, if you can imagine, they're going to be kind of going into here. And so you really don't want that much space out. So you can imagine like sides, the end of the bowl is going to be here, right? So try to make them a little bigger. Yeah, especially that lemon. This lemon. Okay. Yeah. Because you only you only wanted to have yeah, yeah see how it's you're like gonna, you're gonna you're have to go your background you're gonna have lots more yeah if you're fitting like your whole hand in there right like that's too much so try to just okay. get it a little bit bigger okay I'll explain it later yeah even if you need to like make the ridge on the pair taller right so it gets like a life size almost um pair one of those big ones <laughs> one of those big pairs not those tiny brown ones <laughs> one is a jumbo bartlett pair yeah I think the limit's probably pretty big enough for a deal. I think. All right, we're pretty good now. Oh. I'm going to make this one a little bigger, even just to exaggerate it. Try to bring it closer now that that green side is dry. Okay, so again, we're just trying to do the big shapes. Okay, the edges of the shapes, the fruit right now does not have to be perfect. So see this green is still a little fuzzy. That's fine. I can clean it up later. Okay, um, so we're going to go ahead and do the apple. Are you guys ready for the apple? Yeah, yeah that's looking better. Huh? Okay, that's well, that. we still don't have four fingers. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's fine. Okay. If you have less, that's okay. Like, if they're really big, that's actually oh. better. Oh. Because if there's, it's, a, it's really large, right, then we can always, like, not do one of the fruit in the back. But if it's too small... You're gonna end up with like a tiny bowl and then a lot of space around it, right? Okay, Liz, what do you think? I can't think about compared to everything that you got. Yeah. Uh, well, let, let me talk to you. Okay. Can you what do you think you need to change? <laughs> <laughs> I know, and it's deceiving because on the screen it looks smaller. Yeah, see, even mine is not big enough, really. But I'll either add a, another clump of grapes yeah, or something else in there. But yeah. <laughs> okay, can I do that? I think I might do the pear. Maybe I, I need to make that pear a little bigger. <laughs> I think I should work on. I'll need it again. Yeah, well, you can add to it later. Too. Yeah, try it. It's okay. You can try to do it right now. It's, I don't mean to rush you guys, so just take your time to do it. It's okay. Um, if you're ready for the apple, um, the apple is kind of a weird shape. You kind of think of it as round, but just watch kind of how I do it so you guys can get the idea. Okay. So I have the size of the pear, I have the lemon. And so the apple, I'm actually going to start it off kind of on top right here. And this is going to be making kind of like an oval shape at first for oh. the apple. And then if you guys just watch real quick. So this is going to be your apple shape. Oh. So it's kind of like an oval at first. And then we just bring the sides down. Down like this. So then this is gonna go behind the lemon and the pear. See? 
we fill it all in. So it's just kind of like a way to give us a sense of like how the apple is round on the top, but then on the sides, it's a little bit kind of like more geometric, more boxy. Okay. And again, try to make these about the same size. You know what? I even think that this camera, it's almost like it's making the whole thing narrower because even on my page, this looks wider on this canvas than it is on there. Let me see if there's something I, I can do with the settings. More. No, that's not it. Oh, no. Video filter, maybe? Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know. It just looks a little strange. Okay. So I'm going to, if knowing that now, I'm going to try to make these a little wider just so it looks accurate on the screen. So this apple, we're not going to see the base of it. The base of it is going to be behind this, the pear and the lemon. I'll make it a little wider just to compensate. Okay. Yeah, that's good size. So if we look at the page, right, this oval is going to give us kind of like visually a sense of like the top of this apple. And then we can just kind of bring the sides around. See, in this one, you can see a little bit more. It's kind of it's kind of squared out at the bottom. So again, starting with like an oval. And then on this apple, we're going to just make the little ridges that are on the bottom. OK, so I'm going to start it off the same way. This apple is going to be down here. We want the bottom to kind of touch maybe like a half an inch away from that edge. So this big apple is going to start off as like an oval. Top. Okay, if you guys take a look real quick, you can see the oval shape. Right. And then we're just going to bring the edges kind of down. Looks a little weird like that, but it'll give us kind of our shape of our apple. So again, like an oval shape down, and then here where we, is where we can put those bumps. Just kind of fill in. Okay, if the apples are like slightly different sizes, that's not a big deal. If you want, you can even make your apple touching or even overlapping this pair. So on this picture, you can see I made it overlapping. So if you feel like your apple's too small, you can bring it up into this, this pair here, okay? Yeah. Oh. So we have our lemon. I know it's tricky to see on this one because it has the white, but you know, we have our pear, lemon, apple, and an apple here where either side it can kind of overlap. Okay. If you, I did put a lime over here in the corner, but if yours is feeling too crowded, we can move this somewhere else. Okay. But we'll do that line later. OK, 
How are we doing? Can I see the sizes of your your? Uh, yeah, that's good. You probably make that apple a little bigger. This one mm -hmm. going up here. Mm -hmm. Definitely bigger on that apple right there. Yeah, the one I'm doing now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How are we doing? Ready for the orange? Yeah, that's good. Great. Okay. All right. So for your orange, grab the orange paint. And so this orange is going to go slightly behind the apple and slightly behind the lemon, but we really want to see most of this orange. So, you know, make it a big old circle next to this apple. And like I said, if you feel like, you know, something is in the different place and we need to move some fruits around, that's fine. Nice round. Okay, notice that the orange is going beyond the lemon, right? And I'm not quite going up to the red because it's a little wet. So, you know, give it a second to dry and then you can go right next to it. My yellow is more dry. So now I'm going to kind of go around the little bump of the lemon. Um, that's going to show the edge of that lemon. Actually, I'll probably do this side too. Too wet. There we go. Big old orange. And if you need to get a small brush to, you know, bring it into those little edges, that's fine. If you get a small one, if your medium one is feeling too tricky, you use that. Oops. I don't want to get my orange into my yellow fish yet. Yeah, that's a nice orange. Mm -hmm. Extra apple and the up to the limb. Yeah. Are we okay. Bigger. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Let me see. I'm sure. Uh, actually, that'll be good because okay. it's about the size. It's a little bit bigger than the apple, so okay. that's fine unless you fill it in. All right. Okay. Little smaller brush for this one. 
Are we doing ready for the grapes yet? So I have kind of this like grapey color. It feels a little brown to me. So I'm going to go around with a little bit of blue just to mix into it. I don't have a normal purple for some reason. I thought I did. I have this light purple, which is not really going to work, but. See, we can drop in a little bit of blue just to brighten the edge. See, that one, this one has a lump in it. No, this one has no, a lump. I'm side. Oh, I'm sorry. That one has a lump in it. So. No. Okay. So uh, I'm thinking, Lindsay, we might need just a little bit of this blue, just to like give this purple color. Some, I mean, it does look like a gray color, but let me see if I, we can just play with it a little. So here's my purple. I feel like it just needs a little bit of that blue. Feels a little bit more purple to me. <laughs> or you can even add a tiny bit of that red. So I think that purple just needed some adjusting. So I just added a little bit to this, like um, this base purple. I added a little bit of this blue, a little bit of the red, even. And it's just going to give me a purple that's a little bit more like, I don't know, more vibrant. It's the other one, it just felt like it was too brownish. So this maroon one? Yeah, the maroonish color that I gave you. I just added a little bit. If you want to use a maroon color on its own, that's fine. I just felt like it needed some more. Okay. okay. Okay, and then um, whenever you're ready, you can start your first grape right on top of this um, pear. So you just added blue only to that? I color? added a little bit of blue and a little bit of red. So I, I don't know, I feel like I, I lean more towards painting the grapes that are like the darker grapes instead of the red grapes. And I think because it has, can we have red right next to the grapes too? I think it will show up a little better if we make them more like a deeper purple. Yeah, I'm trying to make the color, but yeah. Uh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty great. I hate being so far away. <laughs> yeah. That looks pretty good. I think it needs a little bit more. Blue. A little bit more red, actually. Red, yeah. Yeah, put in a little bit of red, a little bit of uh, blue. Okay, and so your grapes, um, you kind of want to see some clusters of grapes and then some a little bit more like whole. So as you start your grapes, you want, might want to just think of like drawing, almost like you're drawing the grapes first. So I did one just to start. But, you know, as you go, you might even want to like imagine you're kind of drawing it. So this grape is going to go maybe behind this pair. So I'm just like, okay, kind of drawing them with my brush a little bit more. Maybe this one's going to be kind of on its own over here, not really behind anything. Just lightly, just so we can kind of see where these shapes of these grapes are going to go. Maybe another one over here. So at least maybe have them uh, touching or overlapping on one edge. I mean, well, if you guys think of like a bunch of grapes, they're not perfectly stacked on top of each other, right? Like they're not like making a little pyramid. <laughs> so put them every which way. Get another grape over here. 
behind this. Okay. So we'll just kind of get a sense of the placement first. And then we can go in and just kind of fill them in. Far oval, right? So think about maybe rotating the oval so they shouldn't all be kind of lined up in one direction. And then I'm going to do some more grapes down on this bottom part. Obviously, these drawings you guys can see in. Maybe there's one gonna roll away right here. <laughs> and really, it depends how much space you have over here, right? If you made your lemon kind of lower, then it's not gonna be that much space. But these are the fruits that are gonna be on the table, right? So just have some grapes. All right, then I'm just going to fill in these grapes. So do you guys want me to leave those grapes there first to see or are you guys okay? I can wait a little. I'm fill these in. Uh, again, if you don't have any um, purple, like you say, you're painting a home or whatever, um, any kind of red and blue will work, but um, they always do like a little test first because sometimes, depending on the red and depending on the blue you have, it makes like a mucky color. So I'll just test it out. All right, so my grapes are pretty light very watery right now. Um, that's fine. I'm going to paint over them later anyway, so. Is it angle cool enough? Yeah. Okay. So, um, this is where it might look different, right? So, on my picture, I have um these bananas kind of sticking up right here okay um if you feel like you want to put those in a different spot that's okay um i have kind of another pair sticking up right here um so this one's going to go kind of the opposite diagonally um compared to this one okay um if you run out of room up here and you don't have room for this orange or like a second banana that's okay so we're gonna just do this pear shape and like one banana first, okay? So like on here, I, kind of, I think it would be weird to put maybe too many bananas here on this one. So maybe I'll just do one, but I'm gonna start back here with a pear. And this pear, instead of making the whole pear, we're gonna just make the top of that pear. So maybe this pear is just gonna be this little head sticking up here. 
And then here's like its little shoulder. And then the rest of it is just going to be hidden behind the orange and that apple. Okay. So we have you want to see this one? Yeah. Oh, just yeah. Yeah. sort of like going right and left. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Um, I know. Well, see, um, on that um, one, it's switched, right? Yeah, so I'm having to look at yours to determine. Yeah. So it's going to go around this way. Yeah. So on yours, right? If it's I'm pulling just that way. Yeah, yeah. Just have it pointing the other direction. It's yeah. okay if it's slightly tilted or up, but it just doesn't. Yeah, you know, have it going the other way. And it can also be a little smaller, right? Since it's like behind the other ones. So yeah. Oh, this one. Yeah. So start it over close to your grapes and make the round body part that it's down behind the apple too. Mm -hmm. so you want to see me here here? Yeah, so like the top of the pair could be like gonna right here. here. Yeah. Okay, got you. Mm -hmm. Once it's down behind the pair. I mean, the pair sits down behind the orange. Mm -hmm. I need to fill in between the pair and the apple, too, or just do it. We yeah, a little space. You know, so in it's, here, it's going to touch. It's yeah, touch it's, the orange. it's almost like you can imagine you can see the rest of the pear behind that apple. Gotcha. You know, so depending on the shape at the top, it might come in a little different, but it's going to be the same shape, just kind of hidden back there. Okay. It's okay, we can um, paint over it. If I was trying to here. reach over and I'm going, oh no. <laughs> okay, so um, if you're ready for the banana, I'm going to just put a banana. Uh, I'm going to put it over here just so I can follow the picture. So um, this can be pretty close to this edge if you don't have that much space. Um, if you have a lot of space up here, then feel free to make your banana, you know, much bigger. So this is just, it's not that much space for me. So it's almost like I'm just showing, or I'm, I'm only really able to see, like, I don't know, imagine like two inches from a banana, right? So this would be the top of a banana. And I think I am going to throw that second one in there. So this one would be a little bit smaller. It's going to be behind that first banana. Okay. And, um, you know, if you have a lot of space, just make it longer. <laughs> um, if you have, you know, lots more space, you could even add another fruit in there, but um, this depends on your, your layout. If you have a lot of space behind your grapes, you know, or um, you want to make more grapes, or you can even throw in another banana over here, 
Like maybe I can put another one here. It's not like the picture I made, but maybe there's going to be a banana back here. Okay. So that's going to be up to you there what fits in there. If you don't want to do a banana right there and you just want to do the orange, you know, how it is in the picture. Um, on the picture I have there, I have like an orange, but if you have like very little space back here, you can just not put this one in. But it's kind of nice to have the colors repeating, right? So we have green and green, red and red, purple, purple, yellow with the lemon and the banana. So we do a little bit of orange, it kind of helps balance it out, but it's not, it's not like mandatory. <laughs> And this would just be like that really, really top part of this orange. Okay, and then while you guys are doing that, I'm gonna just clean up these grapes a little because they are very watery. So I'm gonna just layer a little bit more color while you guys are working on that. Okay. Are okay. Just made my grapes a little darker. How are you guys doing with those fruits in the back? Okay, that's good. Okay, the lemon. Um, yeah, if you need to go back into some of the shapes and clean up, you know, any little gaps you may have missed, go for it. Especially because we want those large shapes to dry before we add like some shading on them. I can use this light brown for the table. Light brown. Oh wow, this bridge is so dark a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was gonna say, did you want to? Yeah, did you think these were more? Um, yeah, I think. Okay. If you guys want, um, I can just take a picture of it and then you guys can keep it over here. Especially so you can see the detail. Yeah, normally I have the copies like I did last time of the landscape, but since I just painted that one on my own, I didn't, you know, I didn't have a picture to print out really. Okay. 
Okay, so I would switch to a little bit larger brush uh, for the table, okay? And with that light brown, which I need to get myself. We can do a table. So this table is gonna go, I'd say like two inches across. And we just want to go around our fruit down here. Okay, so imagine these this two or three inches here, depending on how big your fruit is. I would definitely give it a little bit of space, but um, I would say no more than three inches. Or if you're thinking in fingers, maybe three fingers, three fingertips. <laughs> Table color. You can use a large brush uh, just to kind of make the big area filled in on the table, but then you can switch it to a small brush if you want to go around your fruit a little bit more carefully. That might be easier. So, like in here, you kind of just large shapes. Can we still add that um, lime on it? Oh, yeah. You know, I totally forgot about that lime in here. Actually, let so me yeah. just do an outline of it. <laughs> I'm going to wipe it away just so it's not so dark, but yeah, I, we can add this line. Actually, I'm going to put the line behind because I kind of painted this, so we can put a little line back here behind the apple. So do it with the dark green? Um, I, yes, I, actually, no, you can start with the light, oh, the lighter green, that's okay. Okay. But definitely get your table filled in here. And let's see. And then always, if you uh, are having trouble making this table edge look kind of straight, you can get something else, like another piece of paper or a folder. Like I say, I'm going to use this folder. And then I can kind of place it just lightly above this, line it up to one of the edges. And then you can kind of see like how crooked you're, you're making your line. So if you want to clean it up that way, you can. Okay, it's not really a big deal, you know, if it comes out a little bit crooked. You just don't want it to be so wonky that it looks like topsy oh, turvy yeah. all over. Okay. Well, okay. You can even use like the long handle of your brush too. So if you want to just kind of like lightly place it on here just to get the idea, right? Where it's going to go. Space for my line. I forgot my line. Still going to go in here with a small brush with this brown, and I'm just going to go carefully around these grapes just so I don't have to fill in these little gaps later with any extra paint. I really want to fill in those white spaces, okay? Yeah, a lot, right? A lot. Mm -hmm. Over the table, mm -hmm. off the top of the table. Okay. There we go. And since I forgot my uh, line, just gonna throw it in here. Just gonna make a circle. And then figure out which end I want to make pointy. Do lines even have a point? I, I'm like trying to, like, hard time remembering. I 
think uh, you do yeah, have a point. You bet, yeah, you've got points on something like that, right? Yeah. I didn't look at an actual line for that picture. So now I'm like, wait, did I paint this right? <laughs> okay. There we go. A little line in that corner. Yeah, look almost good. Oh, it is. <laughs> well, you can kind of cover it with a little bit of a brown, too. Oh, well, she knows. All right. How are we doing? Working on the table? Yep. Yeah, it's hard to go around the grapes with the big brush. Use a small one to do that. I'll give you guys a little bit of slight look to see what the next day. That was so much better. You could probably fit another, um, maybe your line instead of over there, you can put it right here because it's like, okay, you have some space there for something. Yes, I do. Tremendous amount. <laughs> So before we do the bowl, I'm actually going to have you guys do your background. So on my picture, it was kind of like a teal color for the background. I think I mixed teal and white. Um, but if you want to do your background a different color, you know, I have like this uh, kind of robin's egg blue. Uh, maybe you want to make yours pink. Maybe you would want to do this pale pink, right? So if you want a different color for your background, you can use it. Um, I just would recommend not doing it sky blue just because we want to make it look like it's a wallpaper back there. So if we put a sky blue, it's going to really look like the sky. Okay. So um, I think for this picture, I'm going to make it this like peachy pink color. But again, if you guys want to do it the same color, you can get this one or this anything else that's in here. Um, I would say don't use any of the colors that are in the fruit. So something that's a little bit more like muted, right? Not too, not too dark. Okay. So if you want to do it a teal, that's fine. I'm going to make it this pinkish peach color this time, just to make a different one. And we're just going to fill in this whole background. Don't worry about the bowl right now. Get a nice big brush. Oh, she might be here forever painting this background. And I'm just going to fill this all in. Okay. You and you um, have the teal. Of yeah, the I have this this teal. This is the one I used, and okay. I think I mixed it with a little bit of white. white yeah. Um, there's also, I think it's the same teal. I have like three teals for some reason. Okay. I have very little white, but for some reason I have like three teals. I wouldn't do a yellow. Um, you can even use this darker blue and maybe tone it down with some white. So it's not quite like a sky blue, but it's more like a, like a muted dark blue. Um, what else do I have up here that could work? Blue. You can do this dark blue. blue. This, this one, this um, kind of primary blue. Um, I think that color makes it really. It makes it pop. Yeah, you know? it makes it teal. Yeah. Uh -huh. Any of these teals? Yeah. Will work with that. I like the teal. So I'm gonna make my. Oops, I kind of went into my banana there. I'm gonna make my pink. Let's see how it looks. Like. And I'm just going to carefully outline around all the shapes. Nice big brush for this. 
So you're not there forever. Can't get my table around my grapes. I know. My grapes are a mess here. I got to work on those. Let me help you get help with that, okay? Okay. Uh, yes, I'm going to put the deal. I like that in the back. Okay. Need something to put it on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's another palette. That was a good idea. I'm putting another banana over there. <laughs> like to balance the yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I know it's kind of hard to see you against the white background, the banana, but Throw an extra one in there just, just for fun. A very full fruit bowl. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I thought about doing like Lisa, tropical fruit, yeah. but then I was like, no, I don't want to draw a pineapple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy complicated. Um, some of the colors might need a second coat. So if you feel like you have an area that's like really like watery looking. And you need to add another layer. I would go back in now before we start doing the details. So, for example, my apple in here, I might add a little bit. Of, you know, um, it just if it starts to look a little bit too like washed away or watered down. Go into my lemon a little. Oh, there's a second right here. And a third leg. All the craze. <laughs> All right. And some more yellow in there for that banana. And then make sure you're going, you're going all the way off, you know, the edges of the canvas there. Uh, we don't have any placemats or paper this time. Uh, you know, last yes, time they, so. oh, they gave us some tablecloths, but, you know, try maybe not to get paint on these tables. Just so it's easier to clean up. All the way, try to really fill in all the white spots on your canvas. Yeah. And I mean, I think we're going to maybe put a little bit of white in it. So the, the teal. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely lighten it. I mean, I think it would still look okay with it, just pure, but if you want to lighten it up, you can. All right, we have some floating fruit now. <laughs> so you should be going all the way underneath your lemon and your pear 
you may not have as big of a gap right here as mine does, but you know, at least if you have a little bit of space, that's fine. On my picture, I think I have a little bit less space. So just make sure you go in a little bit underneath. Even if it's just like half an inch or a little less. Yeah, but I did. It's just what it's color like. And I'll try that one. Okay. There are too much other things, but not enough of this. Oh, you can take the bottle over there. I think you're the only one using that. If you did. How are we doing? We have a background. Yeah. Work in the background, right? Yeah. Okay. We don't really look at this background between the grapes, though, right? I mean, it's if you have um, gaps in here between the grapes, and if you have like way too many, what you can do is make some more grapes to fill it in. That might be easier. Okay. Um, or you can put some of this pink or the, the your color for your background around it. Okay. Okay. So I, it does should be filled in though, right? I mean, yeah. So no like, if you see on this one, the grapes up here, I went in right now and just put a little bit of yellow for the banana, the oh, banana yeah. back there. Yeah. Or okay. you might have more of your orange that shows through. So I'm just kind of like, okay, pretending the banana could continues, you know, pretending the orange continues down into those grapes. Yeah. Okay. It's okay if you have some of the white showing, it's not a big deal. Okay. Especially because we're going to have some white highlights. So it won't really be that noticeable once we add those highlights. Okay, I'm going to keep going just because um, I want to make sure we have enough time here. Um, so with our um, bowl, our glass bowl, um, I'm actually going to have you guys start off with a little bit of white, and I would mix it with just a little bit of blue, this dark blue that we used. So you get like a very pale uh, blue. Um, or, you know, you can even use a little bit of that light purple, but... This is fine right here. A little bit of this blue, very lightly. And then for the bowl, I just want to make sure you guys are, are seeing this, okay? So we want to imagine that there's like a, an oval back here and it's going to make the curvature of the bowl. So, you know, in the picture, I have the bowl a little bit small. So we just want to pick a place where this edge of this glass bowl is going to be, okay? So on my picture, I kind of have it cutting through this lemon and this pear. So I just want to make sure it's rounded a little, rounded out. I'll probably wait for my back to dry a little bit more of it. Putting it in here. Okay. And then once we have this line, we're going to put another rounded line wherever the base of this. Um, bowl is going to be. Okay. So it's nice and round. Nice and round on the bottom. Okay. So, so we're going to do that with like the 
like blue. And yeah, blue. I, and I would just do the light blue just so we get give the glass a little bit of light shadow right there. But we're gonna add a white on top of it, so it's okay if this blue is a little bit like fuzzier, right? Um, so this is gonna be wherever your bowl is. So I would make the the edges of the bowl right here just start to round out. So we made a nice like soft curve. So on the edges, we just want this to round out. Imagine we're making like an oval behind, going behind that, okay? So on this bottom, it would be the same thing. It would kind of turn into like this skinny oval down here. Okay, so this one would be going kind of behind this apple, but that's going to be the base. And so your oval should pretty much be in the middle of your bowl. So this is like, I'm just using a brush to divide it. Okay, so we're going to try to shoot for that. You know, if you, if you have a little bit off, it's not a big deal, but see how we put like one large oval and then another smaller oval on the table. I'm even going to draw a bowl just on the back of this, just so you guys get the idea, okay? So, because, you know, it's a little tricky. So, say, uh, say I'm drawing a bowl without any fruit in it, right? How I would draw it would be drawing an oval on the top, right? Trying to find the middle here. Drawing an oval on the base. And then we would kind of just connect the sides, right? That's kind of like drawing it with the structure, okay? So you can either make your bowl like this. Um, on the picture that I have, I put like a little raised edge. So if you guys look at the example, I put like a little raised edge on it. So it would be like, This the bowl. Brusher. So you have two options here. You can do it like this bowl, where the oval is just the very bottom of the bowl, or on my example, I have this bowl, and then I have almost like a little raised, like little edge for it, okay? So you guys see the difference there? One has like a little pedestal or base, right? That it's kind of sitting on. The other one is just flat. If it's easier for you to do this one, it's fine. It's still gonna look like a glass bowl. So you can do either one of those, okay? Especially if you really don't have that much room down there. Maybe you don't really have a lot of space for this. Okay, so that's what that would look like there. Okay, so if we go back to the painting here, we have this oval on the top, have the oval on the bottom. And so I'm, do you guys want me to show you the pedestal one or just a regular bowl? Um, I don't know what's, if it's too confusing to do the other one. Um, I think the, the oval on the bottom makes it look nice. Okay, the okay. pedestal, the like pedestal one, right? Like the yeah. one in the picture. Just so, the picture. yeah. Okay, so with this, instead of going all the way to this oval, I'm just gonna come. Maybe I'll come in a close to this line, but I'm not gonna go all the way down. So I'm gonna start at the bottom. And then I'm just going to make this curve. Okay. Probably not to make it too straight, too pointed, right? We're definitely making an oval. Uh, sorry, a curve. So your sides of your bowl should definitely start going down first, right here, and then curving into it. Okay. 
Okay, so we have a nice big bowl. This, if you wanted to add the pedestal, we would just add, it's not even a pedestal, it's like a base. <laughs> Same wrong. Maybe we could add something like that. Okay. And just to make it look a little bit glass-like, you know, I, I'm going to add maybe there's like a little bit of like a, a glare or like a reflection off the glass right here on the side. Maybe a little bit on this side. And just a little bit on that pedestal. Okay. Just kind of make it look a little bit glass-like. And these edges right here, or whatever brush mark you're making here, this should be just kind of soft on the edges, just kind of wispy in there. Go back into this, add a little bit more white, just to really define this edge. Maybe I'll even put a little bit of white down there. Okay, so again, I did a little bit of that light bluish color. Okay, when that's good, you kind of have a good layout with that one, then go over it and add your just pure white. That's what I ended up doing in here. I ended up adding this. I go too low on this, I think I did. So this is just a little bit of this pure white. Really kind of cleaning up that edge of your bowl. Okay. And with this white, you can add a lot of little like highlight details. So um, on the picture, you guys can kind of see the placing, um, but we can start off with the orange. Orange, we can add a little bit of these like dots. Give the orange some little texture. And this is just pure white. Uh, we can add a little bit of like a highlight on the apple, both of the apples. Okay, in the um, in the grapes, um, if you want to use some of this like light purple, okay, to do a little bit of like highlight with that, we can do that, and then put a tiny little dot to give it like a little glare. A little highlight. So with this purple, I'm just going to go in and add, you know, really kind of lightly, a little bit of this like light purple. It should dry slightly darker when you put it on. And this really is just purple with white. So it's kind of like giving us a little bit of a light side of this grape without having to really mix it. Just adding some of this like light purple in there. Okay. With your um, tiny brush, you can get your dark uh, brown, and we can add like a little. Um, center for the apple and maybe give it a little bit of a stem. Same thing with your other fruit. We're going to add maybe a little pear stem. Apple. The little stem, the banana needs its little pop. Okay. 
Yeah, if you want to make your banana like have the top of the banana instead of the bottom, that's fine. Oh yeah, and then our little um, stems for the grapes. So kind of use this dark. And I would just wouldn't overdo it with the little stems, just eh, maybe they don't even need it for the ones that are kind of rolling off. You know how there's always grapes that tend to escape. Uh, Do it with those stems. Okay, I am going a little fast, so just you know, take your time. <laughs> but um, just want to try to get through this because I do have another class uh, I do need to go to in downtown Jungle Tree, but um, just want to give myself enough time to finish everything. Um, with your darker green, you can go in and add a little bit of shading on this pair. If you feel like you know you don't want to add the shading or you're already like trying to get caught up, it's fine. You don't have to do every single thing. It still looks good, even with some highlights and some little details. So this is just some shading for the fruit. I, okay. I just got the shape level. I have to go in and finish. Well, finished it up. Okay. I'm going to use that. Yeah. No, this, this is not. Uh, this one. It's not. Fun. I'm going to add some of the shading in the line. That's not going to be. Out, uh, yeah, where you draw it, it's dark the ball right here. Yeah, and then it'll kind of go behind the yeah, over the straw line. Yeah, kind of like uh, Just adding some little texture on this line down here, especially breaking up that edge of the line. Okay. I feel like this shadow of this um, hair got a little dark, so I'm going to blend that lighter green on top of it. <laughs> For the um, Shadow color of the banana and the orange and the lemon. You guys can use this light brown and mix it with either color, but just you really just need a tiny bit with the yellow. So if I'm going to make the shadow color, add a little bit of brown into that yellow. And it's just going to really just need a tiny bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow on this lemon. Very watery, right? And like, what color is that? This is uh, this brown with yellow. Oh, okay. okay? Yeah. So I'm just using this light brown. I'm going to use it with the orange to make the shadow for the orange. But I would try to add a little bit, you know, just make sure your paint is kind of watery as you're doing these shadows because that'll let them kind of apply a little bit softer and it's not going to be like a big brown line, right? So just kind of soft in there. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom of this banana. Get a little bit of shadow in there. Same thing with the orange. Tiny bit of this brown into this orange color. And oops, you can barely see that. Actually, with the orange, you could probably even just use the brown straight. The light brown. just because it already kind of has an orangey feel to it.
We highlight the, what, the lemon. Yeah, you can do that. Here, let me use no, another brush. We? No, we didn't do oh, that we yet. Okay. We can. <laughs> yeah, so on the picture, I just have a bunch of little like white um, dots. Bobby there. So I'm going to use some white dots for the lemon, maybe some of this, these white dots on the orange in that distant uh, back oh, orange. Small. I'm going to add more here. I can even add a little bit of white on the banana. Put that there. And then I can, with a really, really small brush, you could even add the little highlight on the grapes. Okay, just kind of give it a little dot. So that light purple had dried, right? Now I'm just adding a little highlight on each little grape. And even add a little bit of highlight on this uh, pear. Okay, so once we add those white, you know, if you have a little bit of bits of white showing here and there, it's not really going to be as noticeable because all the white that we added, it just kind of blends into it, right? So there's a little gap or a little bit of white showing, but that's okay. We mostly see the white of the bowl or the highlights. So I wouldn't like, I wouldn't stress out about it. Okay. Okay, so just to reiterate here, um, for the shadows of the orange and yellow, we use this light brown. For the shadow of the apple, I'm just gonna have you guys mix a little bit of the dark brown and red together. So red, a tiny bit of this dark brown. We just want to make it like a dark red, okay? And then this can go on your apple. Just to give it a little bit of shadow. And again, the trick of doing these shadows is just to, you know, have a little bit of watery paint, not too thick. That way you can, if you put them on there, they're not gonna be so strong. Okay. I feel like adding a green leaf on this um, apple. So maybe I'll do little green leaf in here is totally optional. Like it leaf. <laughs> um, and then I know I feel like I'm really rushing you guys now, but for your background, um, I just kind of made a very light, you know, very wispy, whimsy looking design for the wallpaper. Um, I did it with the white on the teal, but for this one, I think I'm going to do maybe some of this, maybe I'll switch it up and do this teal color for my background. But if you want to do it with white, like the picture, that's fine. Or you can use a different color. It doesn't have to be that white. So for example, I just did like a little wiggly line as my wallpaper. And honestly, this I just did this because it looks fun. <laughs> you have anything you want to do a different color? That's okay. This kind of feels like retro now that I'm looking at it, like the... 19, what, 50s diner <laughs> feel to it, <laughs> these colors. Little wiggly lines. If you want to do like zigzags or spirals or some other kind of pattern back there, you can. I'm just, I'm just keeping it the same as the one I had. <laughs> And 
and you know don't overly fuss over that background because we just want it to look kind of like fun and whimsy back there maybe there's some even like this little teal showing through this bowl There's my finished still life. If you want to, you know, work on some little details, you can, but um, trying to keep it a little bit more loose. I feel like last time the landscape was was good, but I feel like for beginners, it might be. I felt like it was my, a little bit overwhelming, so I wanted to just try something a little bit more light this time. Guys. Um, if you guys are interested in painting uh, with oil, I am going to have an oil painting class. Uh, it starts today actually at one, um, but I think it's going to repeat. Hopefully, it can repeat. <laughs> Where's it going to be? Um, it's going to be at the Atelier, at Atelier Gallery. I always say that wrong. Gallery in downtown um, Johnson City. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just got a space with them. So trying it out with their like summer camp right now, but um, hopefully, you know, if there's enough interest, get a little group. Right now I have like four or five people in that group. So definitely a small group experience. A little bit more formal, you know, formal painting practices. So um, I would say it's a little bit more beginner to intermediate instead of just beginner, right? Um, so if you're looking for something different, try that out. I also did get some of the other classes scheduled. Um, if I would have brought my journal, I would give you guys the times, but um, they did approve a paint pouring class for next month a bookmaking class. I don't know if you guys have taken the bookmaking class, the first one, but um, making a small handmade book. What else did they approve? Another painting class. I'm not sure what we're going to paint, but another painting class like this. And there was four. <laughs> uh, one more. Paint pouring, bookmaking, painting, and something else. It may have been a Zoom class. But uh, I know there's another one. All right, so I am going to start cleaning up, but you guys can keep working and um, grab paints if you need them. I'm going to just put them in this box. You have plenty of time to work. If you want me to look at anything, you can go a little. Just trying to tidy up. I need to get out of here by 12. That's why I'm like, oh, great. All right. Okay, and then I think I'm going to stop the recording. Where is it? Stop.